welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low-carb bread. Now, it's been wonderful. A follower on YouTube channel, Jackie, had left me a note to say thank you for all the tips and recipes that I've been giving all you guys, and she wanted to give me a tip on a great bread that she thought was fantastic. Now, it's Deidre's Kitchen. Um, she has two YouTube, um, she has a YouTube channel, Deidre's Kitchen. I'm sorry if I'm not saying it. Deidre's, that's it. Deidre's Kitchen. Um, she only has two videos on, and one is making the bread in a bread maker and making the bread with the mixer. And it's fabulous. I tried it. I thoroughly think it's something that should be shared. I'm not sure why Deidre's not on anymore and I pray that everything's okay with her. Um, but I would like to share this recipe with all my viewers because it's phenomenal and you will be very, very happy. And I want to thank Jackie for giving me this um, little tip because it's wonderful. So let's get started and I will show you how to make Deidre's low carb bread. Now today I'm going to make it in the bread maker. I made it in the bread maker the first time. Then I tried it with the, the blender. I borrowed my girlfriend's great big heavy duty one and I made it up with it, with that. And I actually like the size you get with the bread maker because then you have like a full size sandwich. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put warm water in. So one cup of warm water. Warm water to touch. Now um, a tip for proofing yeast is that you mix the dry active yeast with water that's just warm enough to touch and it's kind of between 105 to 110 Fahrenheit and then you need some kind of um, sugar to activate the yeast and you're going to let it sit for seven minutes to see if it bubbles. If it doesn't work that means you've got bad yeast. So um, the yeast that I'm using is quick rise and I'm going to put a tablespoon in. So I've got a tablespoon. And then I'm going to take a teaspoon of honey. Now I don't want you to be shocked when I say I'm using the honey because what they're saying is that um, that the yeast will feed on such sugar to emit carbon dioxide so it doesn't affect the carb count. So I don't want you to get upset that I'm using honey. And by the time you calculate it with let's say 16 slices, you're not going to um, have that much in there anyway. So what I've got here is a teaspoon of honey and a trick that I've done which you can see the honey just poured right out out of it is I sprayed it with um, my Pam coconut oil spray so that way I've got um, it coming right off the spoon and I quite like that so I'll put the lid on the honey and I'll just show you if you could use raw honey that's awesome so I'm using this honey here and it is pure natural unpasteurized so hopefully it does the trick. It did before, but I'm hoping that it's really going to work well this time. And I'm just going to get um, a knife and I'm just going to kind of move it around just a little bit in the water. And I'm just going to let it sit. And hopefully it bubbles up. Because the first time I used it, because I don't know much about yeast and bread, I use cold water because she didn't really suggest warm water with the bread maker I don't think so I'm just gonna do it this way and uh, we'll see what happens okay I waited approximately seven minutes and you can see where it's got foamy inside and normally I would just put the um, the container in the bread maker and throw my ingredients in, start her up and go, but because I'm trying to show you, I'm just going to have it so you can see what I'm putting inside. So the next thing we're going to add in, now 
Deidre says four tablespoons of Swerve. Um, I did put four tablespoons of erythritol in, powdered erythritol. Basically pretty close to the same thing as Swerve. Um, I just like using erythritol. So I did put four in the last two batches I made, but this time I'm just going to put three in. I want to see the difference. So her recipe does say four. So I've powdered my erythritol and I'm just going to drop it in. And the next thing is I've got two slightly beaten eggs and we're going to just pour that in. Now let's add in a half a cup of oat fiber. Now my oat fiber this is what you're going to have to order online because I have no clue where you can buy it. I looked everywhere and I use Anthony's Organic Oat Fiber. I bought it on Amazon. I actually ordered it online before I went away on my holidays and had it sent to my daughters. And uh, when I got home it was awesome because I had it there all ready to go. So that is a half a cup of oat fiber. So we'll put that in there. And then the next thing we're going to add is two-thirds cup of golden flaxseed meal. meal. Now I actually buy the golden flaxseed and I, I grind it myself. So um, you can buy it already ground. It's cheaper if you do it yourself, but that's up to you what you want to do. And then we are going to add one and a quarter cup of vital wheat gluten. Now Bob's Red Mill. Um, you can find that in, I think, any kind of any grocery store because everywhere I looked I could find it. So it's vital wheat gluten. And you're going to put in a cup and a quarter of that. And I have it already measured out and I have it in my bowl here. I'm excited. You guys are going to like this. It's just amazing how good it is. Now we're going to add in, and I'm not going to say it right, some, is it Exthen gum? I'm not exactly sure, but it is very expensive. Um, but we're going to add that in, and it. we're going to put a half a teaspoon of that in, and it's supposed to help the texture. So I've got a half a teaspoon. We'll just sprinkle it around. One and teaspoon of pink salt. Himalayan salt. I use that all the time. So the last thing we're going to do is I've got two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm using salted butter. And I all I did was just put them in little chunks and I'm just going to distribute it around. The nice thing you can do also is using the bread maker, if you don't want to have it in the bread maker, you can still mix it all up. And when it's mixed, then you can um, take it out, put it in a loaf pan, and then you can bake it, which is awesome. Because I don't have one of those great big blenders, those mixers. I borrowed my girlfriend's because I wanted to try it with it. So I'm going to put it in the machine. So I'm just going to put regular for my crust color and I'm keeping it on the basic bread. So all I do is close the lid and start. And it'll do its thing. So I wanted to mention that when Deidre was doing her demonstration for the baking the bread, she put her yeast in last. So, and I did do that the first time I made it, um, but this time I tempered mine and I wanted to see if that made much of a difference. So, um, it worked out when I started the bread maker. It is three hours and 50 minutes, and I'm using a Black and Decker. And like I said, I've had this for years. So, it should get started pretty soon to uh, start mixing to make my dough. So the timer has gone off at 3 hours and 50 minutes. It looks really good. The dish, the uh, container is still a little hot, but I want to take it out and let it um, 
cool off on a rack. Don't know if I really need to do this, but I'll just go around the edges and hopefully I can get it out. I gotta get hot pads. So I'll shake it around a little bit and see if I can get it to come out. I can hear it sliding. There we go. There's our loaf. It looks really good. So I'm going to let it cool off and once it's cooled off a bit then we'll slice it up and give it a try. So I ended up putting my bread in a plastic bag after it cooled down because I didn't want to finish my video yesterday so we're continuing today. So here is my loaf of bread from the um, bread machine. So you can kind of see the size of it. It smells really, really good. Now, I'm going to make myself a sandwich, so I'm kind of going, okay, which way do I cut this thing? I like using the bread maker because it gives you a nice size slice of bread. Now, I'm going to use my antique um, electric knife. It's a Mulinex. You might still have one at home, too. I just really enjoy using it for cutting bread. So I'm going to be noisy for a second. But it cuts lovely. Now I'm not cutting mine very thick. I'm not really much of a bread person, but if I do want to have a sandwich, um, I definitely would like to have thinner slices with mine. So anyway, I'm going to cut a couple more and then we're going to make a egg salad sandwich. I just put stuff together. It's, I don't know, it just looks like regular bread. It smells very nice. You can have that little bit of a yeast smell to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm not putting butter on my sandwich. I just took two hard-boiled eggs and I um, mixed in a little bowl um, a tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. I use Hellman's. I chopped up a little bit of onion. I put in salt and pepper. Oh, sorry. First of all, I did the mayonnaise. What I did was I put um, a tablespoon and a half, maybe it was two tablespoons, of um, mayonnaise, Hellman's, and then I put in um, just a touch of white vinegar, and then I added a little bit of erythritol, and for sweetener, mixed it up, mixed it with my um, my mayonnaise to make the dressing and then I just put the dressing in with the chopped up eggs and made my egg salad. So here's a delicious, can you see that? There we go. So let's give it a try and see how this bread is. Well I am totally impressed with this bread. I really am. Yeah, it smells like normal bread. It's that's the size, and I took off three slices so far. But I like using the bread maker because it's large enough to make a decent sized sandwich. So I made my egg salad sandwich right here, and I'm going to take a bite. Deidre, you did an amazing job. I'm not really sure what's happened with Deidre. Um, she put on two videos, YouTube, you can, I'll post it here, on Deidre's kitchen, and she said she was going to do more, and that was like three years ago, and she hasn't done any more videos, so I'm not really sure what's going on. But her recipe, two recipes, one in the mixer and one in the bread maker, have been amazing. Um, I would have asked permission to use it, but I 
don't know how to get a hold of her and I really wanted to share with you guys and I want to thank Jackie for giving me this tip with the bread. It toasts, not the same as toast, but it still can turn into toast. You can use this for stuffing for your turkey. It's, it's just an excellent, excellent bread. You're going to have to um, order online the oat fiber, but it's worth it because there's a lot of recipes with oat fiber and I'll be doing a lot more now since I've learned more about it. So anyway, if you want to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com Dot com. Try this recipe and check out Deidre's um, YouTube channel. I can't see where she has a website, but um, it's an amazing recipe and it's too bad that she hasn't continued. So go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Try this recipe and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.